Howdy YouTube, Fixer Good here. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry it's been a while since my last video, but uh, so today we're going to talk about um, check engine lights. Uh, if your check engine light isn't on and your vehicle is cranking but not starting, it's a possibility that you have a pop fuse. It could be from, you know, you could have a penny stuck in your uh, cigarette lighter thing port, or if your battery went dead and you decided to jump your battery, you killed, you jumped it backwards and you popped your fuse for ECM or number of other fuses. So if you go through and you get your handy handy dandy oh, wrong end. Handy dandy test light like this and you just plug it on the ground and you go through your fuse block on the engine compartment or inside the car and just going through until you find a bad fuse. So what you want to do is you want to go down through your fuses with a test light like this and you want to make sure it lights up. And then you just want to go through until you find the fuse that's not working. So you got power on this side, we do on this side, and that is the fuse for the ECM. So that's the reason why your check engine light's not coming on. So you're going to be looking for this on your da on your dash. So this is what you're looking for. This is on the Saveo. It's right there and not here. Uh, so you just want to look for your your check engine light to come back on after you replace your fuse so you replace it and it instantly comes back so and you know this is an easy test it takes a minute two minutes tops to get everything figured out so you know that at least your fuses for ECM work and if your check engine lights not coming on your dash there's either the bulbs burn out or there's something wrong with your ECM powering up or something like that. So you need to kind of trace some wires to try to figure something out like this. So I hope my video helped. Um, if you have any questions, comments, just comment down below. Um, I just, I'm trying my best to be as involved with you guys as much as possible um, and try to get you guys to be your own mechanic because this stuff is pretty easy. You know, anybody could do it. You can be your own mechanic and get things done so it doesn't have to cost you an arm leg down the road. Um, so. Yeah, that's my two cents, and thanks for watching.